Ini sama ada ma. Ba, ini sama. Musa, nanti sekarang aku masih sande. Betul pasti ye. Nai toko ko kolman walama adama. Welcome to another episode of Basic Bambra, a project from Ankata. My initiative to create media and resources for speaking and learning Mandang. If you're new here, think about subscribing. In this video, we're going to cover so-called equitive constructions. Equitive constructions let you say things like, I am a student, the president is a crazy person, or that is not a problem, which is something you may have just noticed in the little intro skit that I just did. Specifically, I'm going to cover four things in this video. First, the difference between equitives and so-called presentatives, which I reviewed in episode two of Basic Bambra. Next, we'll look at how to form affirmative equitive constructions, followed by negative affirmative constructions. And finally, I'll take a step back to show you the ways that presentatives and equitives sometimes intermingle in practice. I think I go a little bit fast in this video. There's a link down in the description below. You can become a patron who gets access to a text, audio flashcards, and a quiz that goes with each and every video in this series. Otherwise, ankata. To understand how to use equitives, it's helpful to take a step back and remember presentatives. So presentatives, which I covered in episode two of Basic Bambra, were used to say things like sodo, which means it is a house, or dente, it isn't a child. These examples, like all presentatives, are used to either present or identify something that's either in your immediate context, such as a house that you and your friend are looking at, or a subject that's under discussion, such, such as a person that you may have run into the night before. For this reason, we can generally translate presentatives with it is or it isn't in English. The equative, on the other hand, is used when you need to say that something, a person, place, or idea, is equivalent or equal to another thing. For instance, we already know how to say things like kalandendu, meaning it is a student, or we know how to say things like dugute, it isn't a town. But what happens if we want to say something like I am a student, or if we wanted to say something like Mali isn't a town? In that case, we have to use equatives. Let's look at the basics of an affirmative equative construction with a simple example. Nye kalandeyi. I am a student. Un being I and kalanden being student. We can see from this that the underlying structure of an affirmative equative construction is quite simple. You're going to have x, ye, then you're going to have y, another noun, followed by ye. We can translate this frame as x is y. The important thing to remember is that both x and y are nouns, either proper nouns or common nouns. For instance, we could say something like Awa ye musoi. Awa is a woman. Or we could have an example with only common nouns. Sene ye barai. Farming is work. All right, let's take a quick look at some examples from Na Baroke, the other series that I did on this channel. They're going to be a little bit fast, but see if you can listen carefully and pick out the equative constructions that you hear in their sentences. Look out for ye, ye, that is gonna surround the other words that they're using. If you're able to pick them out, feel free to transcribe and translate them down in the comments below. Okay, so now we know how to say X is Y, but what happens if we want to say X isn't Y? In that case, we just need to make a simple change, and that's going to be to the first Y, which is instead going to become Te. So if we take a sentence like Adama ye karamoye, Adama is a teacher, 
If we switch it and make it negative, it's going to sound like aramate karamogoye. Notice how we switch that first ye to a te. Otherwise, the sentence structure remains the same. Also, just like I pointed out above, when you're using negative equative constructions, you can also have sentences that only use common nouns. For instance, you could say something like jite dumini ye, which would mean water isn't food, ji, water, and dumini, food. Jite dumini ye. All right, again, let's check out a few examples. See if you can pick out some of the negative equative constructions in these examples. All right, so I said earlier that equatives are distinct from presentatives, the topic that we covered in episode two of Basic Bambra. But in practice, in actual conversation, the two frequently intermingle. Imagine a situation, for instance, where you're sitting with some friends in West Africa and you're trying to improve your vocabulary. You notice there's a bunch of different kinds of chairs that people are sitting on. Some people are on stools, other people are sitting on things that look like armchairs. In such a context, you might ask something like, which means, what is this? Or more literally, this is what? Your friend then would respond, which means, it's a chair. Then you might look at another thing that looks like a chair to you and ask, Odum. which means, and what about that? And here, your friend is going to respond, that also is a chair. All right, so in this example, your friend wasn't terribly helpful. They only gave you one word, and that is sigilang, which means a chair or a sitting device. But they did show you the ways that you can use both presentatives with do or te, and equatives with ye ye or te ye in an intermingling and natural fluid way. Knowing whether you should use an equative or a presentative depends mostly on the context, a little bit less on regional preference, but here's a short way to remember. Number one, you can use presentatives when you are presenting or identifying something in a way that in English we would typically translate as it's or it isn't, followed by a noun. And then you should use equatives when you want to say that some thing, some noun, is equal or equivalent to another noun. And so in English that would be x is y or x isn't y. Iowa. Want to put your new knowledge to use? Think about posting two sentences down below that use equatives. If you need help with vocabulary, check out dictionary.ankata.com. Otherwise, if you like this video and you want to help me make more, think about becoming a patron or throwing me a tip. There's a link in the description below. Iowa. Nidjarai, kambe, aniche.